sticky short rib rice. It's a perfect dish to share with loved ones or to be the showstopper at a party. What's up everyone, I'm Chef JJ Johnson and today I'm making my famous sticky rice stuffed with some short ribs. This dish I'm making today is inspired by my childhood. I grew up with rice. We ate rice with everything, and I'm incorporating some of my childhood memories into this dish. One of my earliest memories of sticky rice is when I was in the sixth grade. I went to one of my friend's houses, and they just had like this amazing, flavorful rice that I never had, and it happened to be sticky rice. I went home and ran to my mom, and I was like, mom, 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 I want, I, want, I want sticky rice, I want sticky rice. And she's like, I don't know how to make that rice. We keep it really basic here. So the inspiration uh, for the flavors of the sticky rice uh, come from my travels and my childhood, from India and Singapore. Uh, the curry in this dish uh, comes from my background of, uh, my grandfather's from Barbados, so uh, I used to grow up with light Indian curry all the time. So just incorporating and pulling, uh, making it super tasty uh, and flavorful. Sticky rice gets its unique texture from the starch. Well, when I'm cooking at home, I'm all about the music. I'm into 90s hip hop and R&B. I grew up in it, happy times. But it's all about the good vibes. Like I feel like when you give good vibes in the food and you're smiling, like I'm smiling, stirring. Oh, short ribs are amazing. They're like super fatty, great flavor. I know you're freaking out right now. You look at this piece of meat in the supermarket and you're like, ugh, not for me, or I don't know what to do with it. It's easy when you have short ribs. It needs to have a really good amount of salt because you need to braise the short rib. And that's what's gonna make it nice and tender, have really good flavor. Like short rib is that piece of protein that you want in your refrigerator that you wanna cook with. Just, just trust me, just trust me. I grew up eating short ribs, oxtails, braised lamb, but I always felt like it was missing something until I fell in love with the ingredient cinnamon. And once I put that in my short rib, or my oxtails, or my braised lamb, it, it was incredible. So I'm sharing that with you, that's the secret ingredient here. Food became part of my DNA through my grandmother in a really early age of life, um, but my grandmother made food look uh, really fun. Uh, so instead of me watching cartoons, I was in the kitchen uh, cooking. So this braising technique is a traditional braising technique. It has red wine in it. But my flavor profile in here is based for my travels. So a little bit of orange juice, cinnamon stick, thyme, bay leaf, jalapeno. So I'm mixing it up a little bit. So food can teach you about culture. And sometimes you don't need to travel somewhere to learn about the culture of that place. So if you're thinking about going somewhere, go eat at a restaurant that you think represents that place. And that food will start to tell you about that culture. I mean, when I travel or my friends travel or my family travels, the first thing you talk about is, where are we gonna go eat? What are we gonna do? And it always is around food in that place. The world loves rice because it's like a field trip. It bounces, it moves, it goes in all these different places. This is how people move. Um, and if you really look at rice, you'll see that certain cultures eat certain rices. With sticky rice today, you're taking a trip into Southeast Asia. Rice is culture across the board. It fuels communities. Doesn't matter how much money you have in your bank account, we all eat rice. It connects everybody. This is the perfect dish to bring to any of your holiday parties if you really want to show off. Come on, take a bite with me. Ooh, look at that. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Rice is culture, baby.